If you're a homeowner or potentially a home buyer in the Croton Harmon School District area, then this video is for you. We're gonna take a quick look at how the housing market did this past November compared to the, the year prior, and also make some predictions about what might be happening come January, 2023. Stay tuned. I'm Jeffrey Green from the Hay Green team here at Compass in Northern Westchester. Uh, I am your Croton Harmon School District expert here at Compass. And uh, before we get into the all of the different numbers that we usually provide on this monthly video, I wanted to just share with everybody a active listing graph that goes back about 10 years. And this kind of goes into, well, what is going to happen in January? You know, when the market kind of resets itself. One thing we're feeling as brokers right now is that um, December has become more of a normal December. Definitely nothing like we saw last year or the year prior. Uh, the typical take a pause, breathe, take a break on your housing search or wait until the market starts up again to list your house. That's definitely back into effect in our market. And even with the extremely low inventory, um, I think homeowners are still waiting to list and not kind of get into that fussiness of, well, now's a great time to list your house because you wouldn't have any competition. You know what? Sit back, enjoy the holidays. Let's all regroup in the new year, so to speak. Uh, but I'm just, I'm just going to bring up this graph. And what you can see in this graph is that I've made this line. This is homes that were on the market, active homes on the market, tracked for the last 10 years, single family, non-detached homes in Croton. Harmon School District. And what you see here is there's this very usual, you know, sort of uh, valley, right? Every every year or so, there's usually a valley in February. And I think the question is, is that where are we heading, that, you know, into January with active listings? And then how is it going to look in February? And how are we going to restart the spring market with inventory? Because that's really what drives pricing, you know, if there's a lot of inventory and the demand is just back to normal, then we're going to see maybe prices start to adjust uh, in Northern Westchester. So uh, long story short, as you can see, over the last 10 years, we've had less and less inventory heading into the new year, although we are seeing you know, a little bit of a bump in December um, this year. And will that kind of result in a usual kind of tick up in January and then a valley? We don't know. Uh, soon to be We'll see how many new listings come on in January. And I promise you, if you do watch these videos every month, uh, you'll be the first to know uh, what is happening in your local market so you can make educated decisions. All right, so now let's just move on to the uh, rest of the deck and what this and the stats that we provide uh, every month. All right, so let's dive into the numbers. And I wanna start with a stat for Northern Westchester last week. So Northern Chest Westchester last week, we saw 15 new listings and we saw 22 listings get signed and under contract. So for those of you that are wondering, is the market still transacting? Are we still seeing homes come on the market? Yes, but not as many homes that are getting sold. So we're still in a climate where there seems to be more buyers that want to buy houses than sellers that want to sell houses. And that is more of a Northern Westchester statistic, but that's a general market climate that I think is very valuable for everyone to know here in the Croton Harmon School District. So having said that, let's run through some numbers so that you guys have some data for how we did this November compared to last year. So five new listings compared to 11 last year. So again, the vein of low inventory, uh, but not not very uncommon to have low inventory in November. Uh, in 2018, we only saw three new listings, if that helps. Um, active listings. Now, this is a number definitely to track. The end of the month, November 2022, there were 14 homes on the market. The end of the month, 2021, there were 21 homes on the market, right? So we did see a decrease in active listings, less supply. Now, that compared to 2018, that was 40 three homes on the market. So we are down near 25% of the inventory that we had in 2018. Super important. Everybody should know this and everyone should keep an eye on this. If you're thinking in the back of your mind, hey, maybe I'm going to sell my house next year. Or maybe I want to buy into Croton Harmon. Just know there's very limited options. Choose the least worst and raise your family and enjoy it and renovate and make it your own. That's what I have to say about that. Uh, days on market average. Um, Hard number to track, really, because this is for deals that closed. So homes that sold during the month of November, which there wasn't many, there was only six. We sort of averaged together the days on market. And it was it was up from the year prior, but there's been months where it's been down from the rear the year prior. So we're at 46 days on market average, which is up 92%. But in the world of real estate, days on market less than 60 is still a seller's market. 
So still homes that are selling are still selling rather quickly. Okay. Uh, sales, like I mentioned, uh, we saw six sales in 2022 compared to seven sales in 2021. So closings, and we saw six sales in 2018. So we're still seeing the same amount of tra transactions as even in a slow year with 25% the amount of inventory. That is a huge takeaway from this video, I hope. Uh, and then Lastly, we'll just get down to sales price average was uh, 969,000. Again, we're averaging out just those six homes, but is it is up quite a bit from the year prior, from November 2021, which was only 621,000. And that's usually just because we had a higher segment of homes close that brought the average up a little bit higher uh, this particular November. We are gonna look at the yearly numbers next month and that'll really give us some data. So what is the new norm for pricing here in Cordon Hudson? And uh, that should help you guys out know where your houses are valued. Uh, closing price to original uh, list price ratio. That just means if, again, I say this every month, if you had your house listed for $100 and you sold it for $98.60, you would have a 98.6% closing price to original price ratio. And that is what we had this past November compared to a standard 100% full price the on average to the uh, to the November prior. Uh, so those are the numbers for Cordon Hudson. I think the big picture here is low inventory, low inventory, low inventory. Uh, the homes that are selling, right, are selling for pretty much their asking price and they're selling rather quickly. And uh, buyers, buyers, I mean, they, they have to work through what's available and they have to make decisions. Hey, am I gonna buy this house and fix it up and make it my own if it's not the perfect fit? And for sellers out there, uh, you guys are still you have a great asset in a very, very popular area and school district and uh, congratulations. And hopefully 2023, it stays the same and hopefully we get a little more of a balanced market, but uh, I don't think prices are going to be going anywhere. Uh, so be careful if you're watching those national news sites, you got to know your local data. I'm Jeffrey Green with Compass in Northern Westchester. If you have any questions, please reach out to Adam or myself, 914-350-6091.